Yeah. How's everybody doing? How's everybody doing? Now, this is the second Sunday of each month, and uh, we like to um, unofficially call it Service Sunday. So what we're going to do on a Service Sunday is going to be in it. Come on, like, keep me going, DJ. Come on. This is a part of Service Sunday. All right, give it up for Nuff Sandra, for real. Give it up for our DJ. Because uh, what we know is that at hip-hop, the foundation of hip-hop starts with the DJ. So give it up again for my DJ. All right, go. Cool. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, let's get still for just a moment. Can I have everyone stand up for just a second? This is all part of the lesson. Uh, I know we already did the love treatment, but for those that weren't here, let's unfold ourselves again. And I want you to repeat after me. I love myself the way I am. And I am still growing. I love myself the way I am. And I am still growing. Now this time say it like your life depends on it because guess what? It does. I love myself. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. I love myself. The way, the way I am, and I am still growing. Am still Give yourself a big squeeze. Let's have a seat. The one thing I tell people that I love from the very beginning of studying New Thought is that from at least like second grade to third grade is when I started to figure out that I was smart. I was smarter than the average. I, I, was, I was getting things quicker. So from Eight years old to about 34 years old, I was relying on my intellect to get me the things I needed to do and places I needed to go. And it worked to a certain limit, you know what I'm saying, because the intellect can only go but so far. But when I became open and willing, open and willing to allow the Christ in me to express through me as me, man, they had a thing called breakouts. Remember they used to be breakout of Hillside? The breakout conference, they did break, breakthrough, a breakthrough. Breakthrough in 1999, and Jehudi, I tell him I'm still breaking through every day. Every day I wake up, it's still breakthrough. I'm like, okay, I got some more things to learn. So the month is August. What is the spiritual gift for this month? Uh-oh, I heard a couple of people say A couple of people say Now, one of the things that we do at Inspirit, we study to show ourselves approved, right? Word? Okay, so the spiritual gift for this month is will. What is the color? Anyone know the color? Okay, I, I think I'm at that, that minister and minister. We have to kind of chill for just a second. Just a second, minister. What is the color? What is the color of this month? Oh, you, you, you're a little too close to this. We have to go silver. Silver is the color. Okay, who is the disciple? Oh, yes, you can coach. You can coach who? Matthew, Matthew. And what part of the body corresponds? Oh, I saw the minister go like that. Okay. Yeah. No. Bobby Jackson's here. Come on, Bobby. No. The what? Close. Very close. He said the center of the brain. It's actually the front part of the brain and also the respiratory. So as uh, Minister said, first of all, let's give it up for Minister Stan, that wonderful meditation. Yeah. Good to have your energy back in the house, brother. Truly, truly, truly. Um, but the front brain now, you know, studies have shown that the front brain, that's where the decisions are made, which is why studies have also shown that young people's brains are not fully developed until they're about 23 or 25 years old. Does that mean that we can let them do anything? No, it means that when they do something that just does not seem to make sense, that's because it didn't make sense. It was, they were still trying to figure it out. So as we talk about being open and willing, open and willing, we know that in true teachers, we always want to correspond the heart and the mind. We always want to make sure that we're doing that. So as we're going forward and we're talking about being open and willing, Dot, dot, dot is what I really should have told Ben is to put the little ellipsis sign after because I am open and willing. That's the lesson, right? And yet, what does that really mean to be open and willing? It means that 
Your spiritual gift of will is what allows you to do what you believe God has for you to do and be willing to do that because guess what? God never makes you do anything. Let me say that again for the young people. God doesn't make you do anything. God allows you to do everything. And yet because God loves you unconditionally, it's not like do this or I'm going to not do that. The love is going to be there no matter what you do. Word? Word? And yet, what happens when we are open and willing to allow spirit to work through us? What happens then? Well, first of all, we become alive. We become vibrant. We become more purposeful. We, we become more, life becomes more real. It's like you start to figure out why you're here, what you're here to do. Even when there are obstacles in the past, you just can't stop. It's like hip-hop. Can't stop, won't stop. There's a force that's behind it. That's allowing it to continue. Well, that can be individualized. In fact, that is individualized. Right in a place like Inspired Truth Center. You know, uh, Minister Julie and I were talking earlier about um, packing this place, seeing this place visually packed and things of that nature. But also, we know because we are threefold beings and we live on earth, we have to be open and willing to do the work that needs to be done to pack this place too. Word? Word. 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 And all of us have a circle of influence Jehudi asked about three people, you know, in, in this day of uh, uh, social media, three people don't even count. Three people does not count, does it? If you only had three friends, come on now. If you only had three contacts, if you only knew three people in school, the point is we all have a circle of influence and we have to be open and willing to have and do the work that's necessary to do what we really want to have. We say we want to pack the place out, but are we really open and willing to all the things? I know I'm guilty of not being always open and willing. I know there's much more that I can and will be doing. And yet, you know, this lesson is, is really about the willingness to step up for leadership, to step up and know that just you as an individual, you know, we talk about one person being able to make a change. And we have a number of uh, examples through modern history. We're going to go back to the ancient times of the ancient books and the ancient scriptures, which tell some incredible stories. But right now, for people to be a step, stepping up and being open and willing to allow God to work through them, there's some tremendous things that are happening, and it can be individualized within us to make it happen. And yet there has to be a willingness. There has to be something in you that says, even though nobody seems to really get what we talk about when we say urban inspirational metaphysics, you know, I don't, I don't know about the other people in here, but, you know, those conversations, <laughs> somebody laughed. So those conversations, I can imagine for Bobby Jackson how some of those conversations go. You know, I can imagine. Because it's like a number of times to be open and willing means that you're going to have to go against the grain. It means that you're going to have to do something that nobody around you is even doing. And yet there's something in you, and that's something we know is what? The Christ, the Christ. When you say, something told me to, that's Christ talking to you. Young people, when something told me not to, that's Christ talking in you. Be open and willing to allow the Christ in you to guide you through the way and watch how the whole world begins to bend for you. Now, I know that most of you are too young to ever seen the original Matrix. But for those of us that are a bit older and can remember the first Matrix, now not two and three, two and three were made for distractions from one. You know what I'm saying? Because one, one talked about how to open it up, how to be open and willing to be the one. The one that was sent here to do something that only you can do. And all of us are that one. What Deanna does, I can't even begin to even think how to do it, let alone actually do it, because it's for her to do. And yet being open and willing gives us examples of how we can allow our light to shine through. How we can begin to make sense out of things that sometimes don't make sense. We talk about the will of God. Well, one of the questions that I used to ask Initially coming in, when I began to study New Thought, I came in, uh, I won't say a cynic, but I came in questioning because there were a couple of things initially that kind of threw me personally, and um, this is Spirit that's speaking to me right now. You know, this is Black August month. Black August, anyone know what Black August is? Raise your hand if you know what Black August is, if you've if, if ever heard the term. Good. For those that have not heard the term, Black August is a time of commemor commemoration. When you look at the history of black people in America, August has always been a time of change and rebellion, almost like the will of God 
working in August. And yet, and in the 1970s, as a show of solidarity for the, the, the inhumane conditions in the prison in California, uh, George Jackson, was, it was done in memorial to George Jackson. It's called Black August. And every month, we not only commemorate the historical, but we, we still have political prisoners now, like Dr. Matula Shakur. Last night, we did a tribute to Dr. Matula. For those that don't know young people, that's Tupac's daddy. That's Tupac's daddy, Dr. Matulu. And uh, we have to remember that, again, we talk about being open and willing. So when you're open and willing to lead people to a certain direction, there are certain people that may not agree with that. And yet, if we have the people that are being helped, forget those that helped us, and we're not open and willing to at least keep their name alive, keep their vision alive, keep what they are doing to help the humanity to manifest itself, to keep that alive. All these things go under being open and willing because the spirit of the Most High is constantly talking to us, constantly letting us know different ways where we can be who we are and be the leaders that we need to be. How many of you see yourselves as leaders? Raise your hand. If you are a leader, raise your hand. If you can say, I am a leader, raise your hand. Exactly, because everyone is a leader. And yet, we can only lead to where we're leading ourselves. So, you know, I often talk about when as I'm going through what we now call urban inspirational metaphysics, but even 10 years ago, we weren't necessarily calling it that, you know what I'm saying? And yet the work that we're even doing now, that's not a term that's readily used. And yet the concept of being open and willing to what that can bring, the vision, or what that can actually mean is something that I'm honored just to be a part of. I'm really honored to be a part of because when you look at history and you look at being open and willing, and you look at the few people, when you look at the total number of people in the world, and you look at the actual few people that have been open and willing to listen, when you have the courage to do that, then it, at, at the very least, you become empowered to live the life that you truly want to live. And all of us want to live the life we want to live. Word? 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 Yeah. All of us have ideas and visions and things that we might not even speak aloud, but in our heart we truly desire, not only for ourselves, but for other people too. Word? And, and that's the will of God. You know, we often wonder, what is the will of God? Well, the will of God for all of his children is nothing but good. As we've been talking about on the Daily Source of Light Call, it's only good. And yet, if we look at our own personal will, and, and you know, they talk about learning to, uh, to be willing as opposed to being willful. The difference of being open and willing versus being willful, when you're being willful, that means that you're doing something that it may not benefit everyone else, but it benefits you. So you use your personal will and desire just to make it happen, make it happen. You hear people say, yeah, I'm going to make it happen. Maybe, well, you probably can make it happen. You probably really can. And yet just because you can doesn't mean that you should. Doesn't mean you should. I mean, if something's telling you you shouldn't do this, but your personal will can still allow you to do it. That's the beautiful thing about being human, is that never one time it's like, listen, my personal will says, even though my leg is messed up, I can just jump down off of there and bounce back up like what? Now, the spirit in me is way wiser than that, so I'll be gently walking down the steps. And yet, in my own personal will, God would not stop me, Jehudi, if I said, what? I live on the floor like, ah, oh, but God would not stop you. Being open and willing means that you're learning and trusting what God is telling you, where God is guiding you, because God only wants the absolute best for you. God just wants you to shine every opportunity, any way that you choose to, to shine. Because if it's true of God, then it's true of you, and it's true of you, it's true of if it's true of God, it's true of you, and if it's true of you, it's true of God. Say it like you mean it. If it's true of God and it's true of you, then it's true of you, it's true of God. God wants that for you. God wants you, but you have to be open and willing. Every single day you get no days off from being you. None. Even if you want to dress up and play another character. In the midst of you playing that character, who's in the costume? You. Who's in the costume? You. you. Wherever you go, there you are. Wherever you go, there you are. And yet when you are open and willing to say, listen, this is all an experience. I'm really a spiritual being 
living in a spiritual world governed by spiritual laws. Which is why when you hear me say transmitted live from the planet Earth, I'm just telling somebody at work the other day, Jehudi, just a sidebar. This is just for Jehudi, don't listen. Just the other day at work, Jehudi, I was talking to somebody and I was telling them, when I say transmitted live from the planet Earth, I don't know how it sounds to other people, but for me, it's like, okay, check in, release all the other stuff, and let spirit guide you. Now, whatever comes after that, I'm not responsible for, which is why I put that in there to say that being open and willing, it's a great adventure. It's fun. Not that when you, it's like when you go to the movie, you are really, when you're open and willing, then you are being open and willing to be the writer, director, the producer, the cinematographer. You're actually setting up your own movie through spirit being the executive producer. Word? Word? So you're saying, okay, I have this idea, this production, it's called Minister Server. Now, how can I transmit that to other people? Well, I don't know. Let me try this out. That was kind of cool. Let me try this out. That didn't work. Let me try this out. And, that, and that's the process that all of us are going through. Because when you open your heart to spirit and you're open and willing, then sometimes there's going to be ideas and stuff that are only told to you. It's not going to be told to anyone but you. And yet, if it's God telling you, and God is your creator, then it must be right and exact. Word? Word? They say any time God gives you an idea, it's already done. You simply have to catch on to it and bring it from heaven, which we know is our higher consciousness, to earth, which is our everyday experiences. Which is why I say, as we say the Lord's Prayer, in earth as it is. Meaning already present. Word? Meaning already present. Right? Is mean right now. I is right here. Standing on the stage. Shining. What? It's a right now thing. So as you're open and willing to trust that, to be in that, sometimes, and this is the part where I think myself and others kind of fall back, it's not going to be easy. It's going to be scary sometimes. There's going to be times when you feel like, well, what am I doing? And yet, even in those times, something will happen. Somebody will say something to remind you of why you're doing what you're doing. What? Why you're doing what you're doing? Because we can all do anything, but why are you doing that? Why are you doing, why, why are you doing that? And most of the time, or too many times, or a lot of times, people are doing stuff just off programming. They're not even thinking about why they're doing what they're doing. When you listen to mainstream radio and television, every now and then, don't you be like, why are they showing this? Why are they playing that song? Why is she dressed like that? What is he doing? Is it just me or do you have like that? Word? Holler back at me. Word? Young people, does, does things look crazy on television to you all too? Word? 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 <laughs> yes. <laughs> And you know, you know, I was talking to my children coming over here. The blessing I think all of us have, I know for me, is that we're able to introduce our children from birth to new thought. As opposed to most of us were a little bit older. A little bit older when we got a hold of it. So all that we are open and willing to do now is really for the babies. I mean, when you look around, is it an accident that there's more young people than older people here? We were just talking earlier, right? That's not, I don't believe it's an accident. I don't believe in accidents like that. And yet the open and willingness of the parents to even bring the young people here. Because I don't know about y'all, but sometimes my children don't always want to come, Bobby. And like, yes, let's get ready to go to his spirit. Sometimes they may feel like that. Most of the times they may feel like that, but sometimes they don't. And yet what I try to teach them is that what you are learning now, while you may not really get in there, and I don't, at 50, you don't always get it, but if you're open and willing, you believe that God loves you, that God only wants the best for you, and as you're learning to be that and you're treating people in that same way, whatever challenges that you go through are only temporary anyway. They're only temporary. They can't stay forever. It is impossible for it to stay forever. And yet in the midst of it, are you open and willing to allow yourself to go through that with some kind of grace and dignity that you don't have to trivial like, Try to find other people to blame and mad at other folks. Allow yourself to be open to all the different changes that's going to come on that ride, you know. My children just said Six Flags the other day. They have different roller coasters that go around and turn you upside down. I feel like that life sometimes, Keith. I feel like I'm on this ride. I'm just holding on. I ain't even one of the ones with the, you know, people like hands in the air. Now I'll be like this on it, like, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. 
Because life can take you like that sometimes, but I promise you, I'll make one guarantee as I get ready to go forward. i make you one guarantee. For this next week, for the, from, this, from now to next week, allow yourself to be open and willing to what the God, the God in you, the Christ in you, the individual God in you is telling you. And watch how you begin to feel. Watch how you begin to process everything just a little differently because you become empowered just by that. And watch how things begin to start to feel like things are moving exactly the way they want to move. They're not always going to be the way you think they're going to look, as my son gives a selfie, for what reason, I don't know. But as, but as, we, but as we go in that same mindset for this week, trust yourself and just listen. Now, I know for young people, it's just as hard to be still as it is for us and the adults. You know, I was telling people with my leg injury, it definitely made me slow down in a number of ways where it just made me just to appreciate just, you know, like last, last week was the first week that I was able to walk out the cane and just walking down the hallway at work, I was just like, wow, thanks God. <laughs> like, thanks God. I mean, just simple different things. So just allow yourself to be open and willing to allow the Christ in you to shine through in all that you do. And I guarantee you, you will begin to manifest the life that you were born to live. It is true. You let it be, and there it is. Word.